and what's going on fontaine here vip soundlab.com what's going on guys back on machine 2.4 we had another member request this time from the mk1 hardware controller they wanted to uh see everything browse from the controller itself all right so if you saw the first um video you might want to take a look at that to get familiar with the browsing uh right here i'm under the new nks uh format icon again all the manufacturers are pretty much uniting when it comes to native instruments because they're going to be tagging and filtering a lot of the nks instruments which gives you a pretty seamless integration with your hardware controller you know i've been hit up with a lot of emails a lot of people are saying uh this is a worthless update and it's not really benefiting me i want to see something new <laughs> well you know the only thing i guess i can i can say about that is basically you know it's to get things more organized and you know more seamless with the complete control series and for bigger things that are coming in the future and i will leave it at that um but for example on this computer anyway i'm getting things still loaded up you know you got to bear with me on that guys because uh as you can see right here this computer has a, a very large screen so one thing i wish i would have did was gathered all my instruments and um scanned them in but it's another story you know i'm on a completely new laptop now so getting things loaded in it's going to take me a little minute so be patient with that but you notice how everything is arranged now in categories such as drums and percussion here's polyplex okay when you hover your mouse over these icons it really doesn't matter if you click here or if you click on this little icon here these instruments uh will load you know for example the mark one if i click on that that will load massive reactor rounds whatever you you know whenever you want a loading thing it will load up that's from the software side of things um under the effects here again same thing with your attributes again everything is labeled as creative effects now when it comes to your user icon here and your nks icon here everything's going to be arranged the same so whether you're on this icon or this icon they will all be arranged the same depending on what you have in there okay so here's some studio effects you know here's the rc24s you know the rc48 replica uh solid bus comp uh the solid uh eq superchargers here's the superchargers here so everything's being arranged nice and neat in there again for more seamless uh, integration now one thing i didn't like was i don't like when i'm on the hardware controller for example you know when you're not using the machine studio i i understand what some of these members are saying now because i haven't turned on the mk1 in a minute and it is a little more tedious syncing up some of the screens because you don't have the studio screens so for example when i'm under this icon here okay and let me turn on the cam just give me one second to turn on the camera right quick all right here i am under the effects tab here okay and i hope this cam can pick that up when i'm going through the libraries like this here okay there's my solid bus comp there's a the solid eq solid dynamics solid bus comp you know it still works the same over here here's all the attributes we can scroll through them like this here and you can go into your favorites and you know you can add those and load things up that way as well so again you know it's pretty much the same as far as that but the tags and the filters for um plugins is what's going to show up inside the software so let's say for example if i go over here under instruments here's a product library and there's all the attributes let's say if i select the massive i can go to massive now if i went to caribbean current i can go under you know some caribbean current uh, massive settings or you know whatever the case may be you know you guys are pretty much familiar with that all that works the same all right so that's in the product library but i wish there was a button on here where i can select this this little guy here where it says instruments and bring up that screen see on the mk1 and mk2 you can't you can't bring that screen up on there so i, I definitely know what you mean by that so you have to click on that with your software to see the categories and stuff like that unless there's something that i'm doing wrong on here if, if so just let me know now if i press shift and browse like this here you notice how the attributes come up like this you have your instrument attributes here where i can select by effect okay instruments if i go to vendor i can go by vendor and i which is native instruments this is one company barodynamics Bar boss digital cakewalk isotope slate digital the waldorf waves things of that nature again you can browse through you know attributes and you know from tags and filters and things of that nature that they have on here now one thing i don't like on this screen here you notice in the software 
that it doesn't show up over here you know so these so these screens are actually not synced up uh but that's just my opinion i mean there's nothing wrong with it i don't have anything against that i just think that should be synced up a little bit better when it's going from the hardware controller uh to the software over there all right all right and let's go ahead and take a look at actually loading up some instruments from the mk1 now again under instruments uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to go under user Okay, like so here's the product library now you have a button a left and a right button here right below your browse button okay when you push this button just a little bit to the right you notice how you bring up your types and your modes okay now when i bring up the types here you notice the first attribute that came up was beast mode red again why because that's a plugin inside of uh the software so if i wanted to go through some of the beast kits like if i press beast kits here they show up over here so i can scroll these two favorites you know whatever the case may be and on the Beast Mode Virtual Plugin, these tags and filters are already in the software. If you download that, everything's already done for you. All right, again, Beast Mode Kits. You know, if I wanted to go through certain uh, styles of kits, I could turn this knob here and things of that nature. All right, so that's pretty much how that works. So let's go ahead and scroll through some other ones. Let's go to, you know, for example, files on Bugatti strings, for example, you know, different type of uh, settings that we have. You know, if you downloaded the Bugatti Strings uh, contact expansion from us, you know, you guys will have these uh, pre-tagged and filtered as well. As you can see over here, you can also scroll through those. So that's pretty much how you scroll through your instruments and stuff like that. For example, here's our newest uh, plugin for contact, the Illmatic Drum Machine. You know, here's the Ill instruments. You know, then if I wanted to go through certain styles, I turn this knob here. Okay kits or whatever the case may be or if i went on instruments for example as you can see right here here's some of the kits you know some of the boom back kits or whatever you know brass piano you know for example let's say if i want to go up under illmatic piano for example i have to load icon here i press load like this here Okay, and I could turn the cam off now because now the instrument is loaded up. And I double click this icon here. And the Illmatic piano comes up like this here. You know, and then from that point, you can get in here and just adjust your settings on your instrument, you know, whatever you want to do. All right, so that's pretty much, you know, going over some of the browsing the tags and the filters. And, you know, you guys are pretty much familiar with that. You know, and again, keep in mind under the NKS icon here, you know, you can browse, you know, effects and things of that nature. So it's pretty much straightforward. I mean, it's a very intuitive program. I'm really loving what Native Instruments is doing with this. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing the future updates. All right, fam, and that's pretty much it. Um, pretty much browsing from the MK1 hardware controller. You know, I feel that I pretty much walked through that um, pretty well. You know, as far as going through your filters, your attributes, the types, the modes, and things of that nature. You know, again, under your NKS icon here, for example, we're saying all instruments here, whether you're on this NKS icon or your machine user icon, you know, a lot of the categories are still going to be same, like drums and percussion, sampled instruments, synthesizers, things of that nature. You know, other than uh, I think your plugin icons will also show up uh, under your user icon as well. So, you know, depending on what you have scanned in, again, this is a new computer, so I'm getting everything uh, loaded in now. So there would be other categories here, you know, if you have complete and things of that nature. And uh, yeah, the machine studio does make it a lot easier to, uh, you know, go through some of the screens again with the well even on the, well even on the machine studio I, I wish that uh we could have a few more screens synced up i would like a little more control from the hardware controllers uh to just control some things because some things you still have to do with the mouse so um i guess you know we're we're slowly but surely we're getting there to eventually maybe one day we could put the mouse down you know the way the machine studio is made i would like to see us unplug that usb cord maybe have a little sound card in there or something you know, and just completely disconnect from the software. That 
could be something in the future, but you know, who knows? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, under instruments, you know, you have your effects here, you know, again, you know, these different categories, uh, you know, you just hover your mouse over into one of these and they will load up. So yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Other than let's jump under the user icon here. Just as a reminder, let me tap on the plugin icon here, bring up the Illmatic drum machine. Now, again, this is a drum machine that we created for contact. You know, you guys can head over to www.vipsoundlab.com and get that. It comes over 200 kits and we have like 12 multi-sampled instruments like grand pianos, organs, brass. So it's a pretty much a go-to uh, workstation when you want to have your instruments and your drum samples in one easy little module, you know, such as contact, which is very powerful, you know, and you can, you know, route your audio outputs, you know, on an individual sound level, you have up to 16 um, outputs for each uh, pad. You know, you have individual control of your sample, start, hold, drive, EQ, decay, built-in compressors, transient master tapes, and and all that good stuff. So it's, it's a powerful, powerful little um, drum machine and very easy to use, by the way, not too big of a learning curve. And you have all your instruments and bank selectors. So it makes browsing categories of sounds very easy. You know, and you have unlimited kit creation. You know, you can go in there and just start, you know, designing different uh, kits and things of that nature. All right. So with that being said, um, again, you can always right click if you do have a third party plugin where everything is not mapping. You can use your learn MIDI CC automation on some plugins, um, not all, but some. And uh, you can get things mapped out that way. For example, there's the velocity there, the stereo width there, you know, the pan tune you can tune your samples and you know just the decay and all that good stuff and just the hold and you know the sample start and, and all that good stuff so you know still maps out seamlessly so again that's the emphasis just you know mapping out your controls and your parameters uh seamlessly so for example All right, so I'm not going to go too long with that, but you know, just showing you that, you know, it maps out seamlessly, and you know, we can for example, if I'm hitting this guy here and I want to pan that. We're on stereo so that you might not hear that. Let's say You know, that's mapping out seamlessly. There's a velocity there. Tune. You know, so I have still total control. You know, and all that's just from the Native Instruments um, hardware controller. You know, and I can also use my, my MIDI controller. So we're going to be doing updates for this. So guys, look for uh, the updates. We're going to be hitting you guys email inboxes for that, for the Illmatic drum machine, as well as the Bukati strings, addictive synthesis, as well as um, the Beast Mode virtual drum machines, red, black, and the War Machine versions. So all right, man, that's pretty much it. Your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to hit me up, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.